Hi everyone, Banyan's back in the lab slash uh, dining room. Uh, today I want to show you the modification I did on uh, my cell, on the dry cell. I want to also talk to you about uh, the next modification I will do on this cell and uh, explain to you why uh, I do that. So let's get started. Um, uh, as you can, uh, I, as I, I believe you saw in my um, uh, earlier video, I had problem uh, with uh, the stainless steel foil that uh, was touching the two first plate was touching each other. So uh, I, I did add a, a gasket pattern between the plexiglass and the first uh, plate of stainless steel, um, which allows some movement between both of them, uh, uh, thermal movement. So uh, when the, 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 the plexiglass cool down, the stainless steel doesn't follow. When, uh, sorry, when the plexiglass uh, cool down and shrink, the, the, the stainless steel do not follow and kink. So this worked perfectly, it fixed the problem entirely, the cell is not uh, shortening anymore. So the next thing I want to show to you is the thickness of my walls. I did use two plexiglass I purchased at Home Depot, uh, one quarter inch that I stick together with crazy glue which give me, on, uh, more, uh, give me thicker wall, more uh, rigidity on the cell and then uh, more thermal work resistant. Thermal resistance, sorry. Um, my plates are here and between those two walls. I have 13 plates, two positive in the outside, one negative in the middle. Um, I also want to show you those little black square here in, in the bottom of the tank or my spacers that I put between each uh, layer of stainless steel. Uh, yeah, I use uh, stainless steel foil. Uh, it's really flexible. So I wanted to make sure that uh, each uh, layer of stainless steel will not touch each other because they are uh, flexible. So I don't know if I put too much of those spacer. I don't know if I place them on the right spot. I don't know if it's useful but uh, some of them took off and end up in the bottom of the cell. So if anybody have suggestion to give me about how I can make those uh, spacers in place, I will appreciate and, and try it. So I wanted to show you too, you remember the electric uh, tape that I place outside the boat, on this side of the boat uh, uh, to, make, to compensate uh, for the thickness of the stainless steel. Well, with the, the, the heat that the cell produces, and the pressure on the boat, um, I believe the glue of the, 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 the electric tape uh, melt and became slicey so that the, the electric tape uh, came off, came out, literally came out the cell all around. So, so far nothing's leaking. Uh, the cell worked perfectly, as I said. So next time, guys, don't bother with that. Just don't put it <laughs> if you do a device like this one. So I did rewire everything with bigger wire, this is 10 gauge wire, my negative, my positive, it goes around here to the front of the cell. Give me my, so it, it, I have my two pole negative and positive on the front here. It's a uh, better access, easier to access to turn the cell on or not. I also want to show you that last night I run the cell for three hours. Uh, the water level in the tank was about here. Three hours later, I burned uh, half of an inch of water. So I have had people ask me the dimension of my tank. It's uh, three inch by three inch by 12 inch high. So half of an inch burn in three hours. Um, so I'm gonna turn this guy on here to show you what's happening. So you see the water level in the cell, it's going down. I don't know if I should be concerned about that. I don't know um, because you know uh, I lose some uh, uh, plates of faces for productivity, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the pressure. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, so next thing that I'm gonna do on this cell, this is it. Well, this is it so far for the modification I have made. Um, next thing, next modification. I order myself a water pump uh, in order an attempt to keep the water cool on the cell. I want to specify that it is not to cool down the water of the cell, but to keep the water cool at room temperature. So the pump will be installed here. What's, 
what's happened right now without the pump is the water in the cell it's staying there stayed there too long so it heat up and goes back here with the gas movement it goes back to the tank and the tank w uh, become really hot so by adding a pump we will pump the water in the system so the water will not stay long enough inside the cell to heat up so this is the theory this is the idea so I'm gonna try it stay tuned for the next video you will see uh, if it work or not I also order myself a amp meter uh, a real DC amp meter that I will install here in front because the one I have here it's a ACA amp meter so I don't know if this guy is telling me the truth I'm not good enough in, elec in e electronic uh, for that and uh, in about two weeks from now I'm gonna order more stainless steel and I will add plate to the cell all the way up to 31 plate which uh, should um, increase my productivity all the way to 2 liter per minute uh, in theory so I look forward to try this right now I produce half of a liter in 40 seconds so this is it for this uh, next thing I want to talk about um, it's uh, uh, the why I do this uh, so I will give you a little uh, chemical class right here <laughs> Um, everybody in the United States at least that is uh, have been at school know that uh, the chemical formula for water is H2O so it's uh, it this mean that uh, it's hydrogen gas bound with uh, oxygen gas together which give the water so what's happening here in the little uh, generator that I've built here that work on a 2 volt battery charger car battery charger uh, is that we break by adding electricity in the in this uh, we break the bond between hi uh, the hydrogen and oxygen so we have what we call a hydroxy gas coming out of the bubbler here or more commonly called HHO gas uh, it's not this gas is really highly explosive but it's not uh, danger dangerous to produce this gas here right now it's, the production is not uh, big enough and the gas is really light so it goes uh, about 20 meter um, per second up in the atmosphere so as soon as it comes out of the bubbler it's gone um, why I do that? Uh, I do this to uh, eventually install this device on a car to increase the mileage per gallon uh, I haven't I insist I did not invent anything here I saw it on YouTube I, I thought I need to build this myself to see if this thing works so next step will be to install it on the car with the 31 plates to see if it really works. A lot of people did it and showed that it works, so I really believe it will work. Um, you can Google, Google it or YouTube it, uh, HHO or Hydroxy. You will see you can, uh, it's a simple technology. You can build it yourself. I did build mine here on the table of my kitchen. Um, or you can buy one there are several websites online where you can buy a device like a similar to this one and, and they will show you how to install it on your car and um, this will save definitely save you big bucks uh, I've read somewhere that by the end of the summer here in California uh, the gas price will go around eight dollar per gallon uh, I'm French so I know that in Europe uh, the, ga the, the, the gallon of gas it's around ten twelve dollar um, so guys look for alternative solution right now so if you I live in Sarafel California if you want to contact me you can do it through my uh, YouTube channel on uh, Banyan 23 Banyan like the tree uh, B-A-N-Y-A-N and 23 um, so stay tuned for the next video this is Banyan signing out